This is Ruby Merlot with Turbulence in the Tidal Pool, Bathroom Ring Pour number two. Watch my last video to learn the significance of the bathroom reference. I am Mrs. Ruby Merlot. As a cultural, colorful pouring icon, I dress for every pour as one would naturally dress for dinner. I channel my muse with a quick vocal exercise, then ask my canvas what it wants to be. And now that you know my story, shall we pour? Ah, a blank canvas and a paint-filled wine goblet. First I vocalize, spilling from the glass. Next, as always, I ask my canvas what it wants to be. I use the same colors as I used for my first tidal pool paint pour in this two-part series. And alas, even though I cut back on the amount of paint, I still have too much for this size canvas. The ring pour may perhaps be the most soothing of them all, both for the artist and the viewer. The hypnotic movement of the colors spilled out and expanding across the canvas. Vertigo! That's what it is! Oh no, not me. I may be called a bit dizzy at times, or off balance, but I mean that strange spiral used as a special effect in the Alfred Hitchcock movie Vertigo. I knew before I began that I could not continue thinking of this painting as bathroom ring pour number two, so I am just adding a bit to the name of its mate, Tidal Pool, and calling it Turbulence in the Tidal Pool. It has significant meaning, as you will soon learn. As a matter of fact, it reminds me of my last year's vacation, a trip to Fiji with my son Maxwell, before he married Brandy with an I. Genius that he is, he displayed a scientific bent even as a young boy in suspenders and bow tie. I fully anticipated he would become a world-renowned surgeon. He became world-renowned, all right, a world-renowned entomologist. When he announced his career intentions to Mr. Merlot and me, I had to ask him several times to repeat it. Entomologist, entomologist. And when I learned they study bugs, well, you can imagine. I certainly didn't want him bringing his work home with him. But back to the trip. After an 18-hour flight, I headed straight for the water. I clutched my tiara tightly, an errant seagull plucking at my aqua boa as it and my colorful caftan streamed behind me as I sped through the sand. Maxwell soon caught up to me, choosing that moment to reveal his true motive for inviting me on our little trip. He had asked me to Fiji to hold a beach umbrella over him while he scoured the tidal pools for an elusive marine midge known as the Pontamaya, one of the few bugs that exists in tidal pools. They have wings but don't fly and have no functional mouth parts. It sounds like half the women in my social circle. Their designer outfits are too tight for them to ambulate, and they mustn't eat or they'll burst the seams. The trip ended happily, however. I had brought Mr. Merlot along, so he held Maxwell's umbrella. And together they discovered a new species, now known as the Midge of Merlot. <sighs> to think some families have stars named for them. Heavens, once again I have spent much of the poor regaling you with my stories. As you can see, I have lost any semblance of the initial ring, as well as many of the colors with which I began. But not to worry, the result created by the churning wave motion and layers of grays and seafoam green does harken back to my turbulence in the tidal pool Fiji vacation. And here are the close-ups, the movement, the subtlety of the colors. And the 
gold. You can see it peeking through here. And again when the picture is displayed next to its mate. Thank you for watching, gracious viewers. As always, please consider subscribing to my channel, or else, as the entomologists say, may the Pontomaya of a thousand tidal pools get stuck in your paint pour.